It's October 13th, 1983. 17-year-old Donna Jean Aucock is babysitting for her next-door neighbor. Once the homeowner returns, she asks Donna to go to the nearby variety store to buy a couple packs of cigarettes. The clerk says she made the purchase and promptly left, and this was the last time Donna was seen in public. Her older sister, Tammy, remembers it like it was yesterday. My mother had woke up the next morning and realized Donna hadn't come home. We knew she wasn't a runaway. We knew. You know, there was nothing. There was no reason for her to run away. So um, we started a search, um, and the two boys that found her come back, and that's where the horror began. Donna's body was found the next morning near the Fanshawe Dam, raped, brutally beaten, and strangled to death. 31 years later, the police are still without a suspect, and the lack of closure has left her family in shambles. It turns your world upside down. You know, you're, I'll never be the same, nor will any of my family ever be the same. I just want to find out who did this, and I want him to look in my eye, and I want him to hear the story that I have that he needs to listen to when I read it. He's killed my family. We've all died. Part of us died with Donna. Justice has to be served. Bottom line. And I, I know in my heart that this person is still out there. I don't know if this person is still hurting other people. I don't believe for one minute this person just murdered Donna and stopped. To this day, Tammy actively campaigns for the search of Donna's killer. She created a Facebook group where civilians can discuss the case and post potential clues. It now has over 3,000 members. Her lobbying to bring justice for Donna is a big reason why the OPP's reward for information that leads to a conviction has doubled to $50,000. It's been 30 years with no suspect, but help is finally on the way. Dr. Mike Arntfield is a tenured police officer and university professor with a focus on forensic investigation. He leads a team of experts and analysts from various fields on the TV show To Catch a Killer, as each episode deals with a new cold murder case from southwestern Ontario, the first of which re-examines Donna's murder. Arnfield's team was able to develop an updated sketch of the potential killer, but the case still provides many challenges. That case is very troubling. People think DNA is always a silver bullet. We have a great DNA profile in that case, as well as a fingerprint, a uh, partial fingerprint, and no one to match it to. So DNA is only as good as long as you have a, a matching sample. So this is someone who has stayed under the radar for 30 years, who has never had their sample taken by police, so that means they've never been convicted of another sex offense or another violent offense. But Donna's case is far from the only unsolved murder in the London area that Arnfield has dealt with. According to his research, London was the serial killer capital of the world at the time of her death. 32 London women and children were murdered by suspected serial killers between 1960 and 1985. 13 have been attributed to three confirmed multi-murderers, all of whom have been prosecuted. The rest remain unsolved, with as many as four other serial killers still roaming the streets. London has a very unique, what I call vacuum-sealed culture. You, you see it in some of these smaller communities where people band together and they organize a search party if a child's missing. London has always sort of lacked that spirit, that type of uh, cohesion, and it's the perfect environment for offenders to sort of uh, operate in plain sight. At Western University, Arnfield has gathered a group of 15 students to look for patterns and signatures in cold murder cases. Together they're called the Cold Case Society. Ilma Anis and Sarah Stratton are two of the society's field investigators, and some of the patterns they're noticing are significant. Believe it or not, it does happen. They have signatures, they do take trophies from their victims, and they do have an MO, like every serial killer has one thing that they like doing to their victim, and like it, it escalates. One of the traits we were talking about earlier of a serial killer is that they act normal. They're like one of us. So any one of us could be a serial killer. That's the scary part. An undisclosed item found in Donna's mouth at the crime scene matched a signature used in two 1968 London homicides. But Artfield and his researchers are still on the lookout for more conclusive evidence related to her murder. As the studies continue, they realize the amount of pressure involved in finding a breakthrough in aging cold cases. But doing right by the frontline men and women, doing the real work in policing. 
and the families of these victims who have been living with no answers for, for years. And they need to know that there's people out there who still care and who will carry the fire. Tammy strongly supports Arndt Field's work and believes that it will one day lead to the capture of Donna's killer. And with that, a sense of fulfillment that has escaped her family since the day she lost her sister. They're going about ways that OPP didn't. I believe they're going to find out who murdered not, not only Donna, but the others too. Somebody knows something. Somebody absolutely knows something.